Man, oh man, it just doesn't stop. Today we get some specific information on what the NBA is actually investigating and an explanation as to why James Harden called Daryl Morey a liar. Perfect. What is going on, everybody? RB here. Welcome into Philly Take with RB. You know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe. You know the vibe. Appreciate everybody for supporting the show. You guys blew up the last video. And as always, I'll ask you, let me know your thoughts down below. How do you feel about the situation? Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Did I remind you? NBA training camp is only a few weeks away. That means we're going to be dealing with with this spicy drama all the way leading up and probably through. It is going to get ugly, but we're here to cover it all. Welcome back to another day of the Sixers Circus, another ride on the Harden Carousel. And guess what? We got more information. Now, we did finally get something else. couple footage pieces from the gym. The Rico Hines runs, new Sixers assistant coach. We'll take a look at that stuff. But you know the drill, man. The daily activity at this point is to dive into the James Harden saga. And today we got an explanation as to what the NBA is investigating. So Shams put out earlier today on Twitter, he says, as part of the NBA probe into his, quote, liar comment, James Harden told league investigators he was referring to Daryl Morey telling James Harden he would trade him, quote, quickly following the $35.6 million opt-in for the upcoming season per source. The Sixers' stance now is that they expect to keep James Harden. Now, in addition to that, I commented here on the reply. Again, this has nothing to do with an under-the-table agreement. James Harden says that Daryl Morey told him he would be traded, and he wasn't. If that is the case, if Daryl Morey told James Harden in his camp, we have a trade in place, here's how it's going to go down, all we need you to do is opt in, and then went against his word. Yeah, I do think that is bad business on the part of Daryl Morey. And all of this going out in the public is going to hurt the Sixers from attracting future free agents. So there's going to be a ripple effect. And I think the NBA actually should investigate that. I wouldn't be surprised, though, if the Sixers are the ones here to get Doc the pick for tampering with Daniel House or whatever it is, you know, again. Or, you know, maybe they look at that and say, oh, well, they tampered with Tucker and House and they lost picks. And now James Harden had something to do with that. So maybe they'll get penalized somehow else. I don't know, man. It seems like the Sixers are always the ones to get hit in this situation. But nonetheless, right, if Daryl Morey did do that, yes, it is bad business. It's still allowed. My viewpoint on this is that I still cannot believe what people out there are saying about James Harden and just how this is okay. How do people allow this? All right, I don't understand. I think we need a refresher course in what the word request means, right? Because nowadays a trade request apparently means if I'm contractually obligated to an organization, I can go to them and say, you must trade me here. I do not want to play for your team anymore. You can get back whatever you want to get back, even if you're a championship contender or close to it, and you just have to accept whatever. Trade me to my destination. I don't care about the rest, and I'm done with it, right? People are taking what Sham said today at face value if I tell you the sky is purple, are you going to automatically believe the sky is purple? Or are you going to actually look at the sky and maybe think about it for two seconds, right? Like I'll pull up some of the Harden stand boy comments here. And it, it's hilarious to me. Majority of Philly fans said he's washed. So shouldn't those players be enough? When in history has Daryl Morey traded a star and got scraps in return? Please tell me. I like he doesn't do that. He literally said, he will not trade Harden for anything less than a star. And he literally told Ben Simmons that he would not trade him for four years if it meant sitting out. Daryl Morey is one of those GMs who likes to go tit for tat. He likes equal value. He doesn't like to take less, especially when the Sixers are still trying to compete next year. So at the end of the day, whether Morey did it or not, I can't sit here and be reasonable for James Harden if he said, I only want to go to the Clippers. I already have no value, which is evident. Because the Rockets didn't pay it, right? Because now people are saying, now you have an explanation, right? You have an explanation as to why Daryl Morey and James Harden are pissed at each other, et cetera, why he went public. But in reality, if James Harden was offered by the Houston Rockets, he would have left with no problem. He doesn't care what the Sixers get back. He was not trying to help the Sixers. He's trying to get to his destination and make the most money possible. So 
if the Sixers have to settle for Marcus Morris, Rocco, and Norman Powell, no, they don't want to do that. At this point, like I said a few days ago, you're probably stuck and you're going to have to take whatever back, and it's a bad situation. I'm more pissed at Maury for not doing anything else to address the roster needs this offseason, but these Harden fans out there, don't let them make you think you know, that this is okay. This is not how contracts work. This is not how sports should work. It's just a bad look overall, and there's a lot of it going on right now. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. Look at this. That's exactly what happened. He didn't say those names, but told him he'd trade him to L.A. When did Daryl Morey say that? I think how the conversation went is, James, we will try to trade you to L.A. We will look at a list of destinations, but if there is not a package, like he said on the radio, that makes us better or keeps us as a contender, then we can't do the deal, right? If there's not first-round picks or, or whatever else even included, we're not thinking about it. And James Harden got in his bag, got in his feelings, went to China, and and he, you know, he started speaking, probably things that he should not have. It's crazy, man. Philly fans can never be honest the whole time you guys were asking why he opted in. Can somebody spell the word gullible, right? Does it say gullible on the ceiling? Come on, man. Come on. It is bad. But I get it. You know, these people support Harden. There are Sixer fans and there are people who support Harden. I'm trying to see it from both angles. I think there's fault in both sides. But let's not sit here and act like this is perfectly okay. Let's not sit here and act like this is how things should work. Handle your business like a man and and work it out, man. I mean, again, like Brian Windhorst said today on ESPN, you know, the best place to play for that contract and to earn the value is with Philadelphia. I've been saying that all off season, but you know, it's just probably not reparable at this point. So we'll see Uh, the latest odds on Joel Embiid asking out next in terms of stars is much higher than anybody else. 40% of the votes are Joel Embiid. Do you guys think Joel Embiid could ever request a trade from the Sixers? Do you think it's actually feasible? Do you think he will actually do that within the next year or two. That's what ESPN insiders believe. They think Zion's number two with 20%, but Joel number one with 40%. At the end of the day, man, the Sixers need to get better. And, you know, now they're at a point where they're probably going to have to accept less than what they wanted to. And Daryl Moore is probably going to have to get it done, but he's stingy, man. He is going to sit on his, his heels and he's going to sit on his ground and he's going to say no until they make him do something. So look, I don't know what the next step is here. Uh, the Rico Hines runs were going on. Usually we saw James Harden, right? Last year we got a, a little glimpse of him, but now it's the young Sixers. And shout out to Jaden Springer. Shout out to my guy Harrison Grimm for putting this on Twitter. Jaden Springer, look at that, sending Grady Dick into another planet. Give me those ankles. Can Jaden Springer do this in a game? I still can't buy it because it's an off-season workout video, but this is what the Sixers need, man. Give me that. Raptors rookie Grady Dick getting his ankles broken. Then we have a play from Jaden Springer. There's DeAnthony Melton. A lot of Sixers were in this. Look at that jump shot from Springer, man. There's Rico Hines, new Sixers assistant coach who's been holding these private workouts. Look, man, these guys are uh, they're getting some work in. The guys that actually want to play for the Sixers. And here's Paul Reed, man. He's looking a little bit more uh, swole. He's looking a little slim fit there. Paul Reed bulking up. He's going to defend Siakam, get that out of here, and it's going to lead to my guy Terquavion Smith, little awkward finisher on the other end, and one. Give me a bucket. So uh, some of the young Sixers getting work in here, good to see. At the end of the day, man, it's hard to talk about this roster until you know what's going to happen with James Harden. Look, it's going to be a bad resolution for both sides. I'm accepting that at this point. Right, The Sixers you know, are probably not going to get really much of any value, but for the people out there that say to blindly trade Harden and get back Rocco, Norman Powell, and Marcus Morris, that's just crazy talk. James Harden had a really productive season last season. I've never once said that James Harden is washed. He's just not worth a max, which is evident. It is literally right there in front of you. If you just think a little bit, the proof is in the pudding. No team all for James Harden max. The Rockets, instead of bringing their guy home, said we will pay $43 million per year to Fred Van Vliet and we will go pay Dylan Brooks. Get me out of here on that. Anyway, that's the latest on it. Those are my thoughts. Give me yours down below in the comments section. As always, appreciate everybody for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And with that being said, I will catch you all on the next one. Peace. (laughs) 